Hello, welcome back to the tour. So, most of you probably know there are multiple jerseys and therefore multiple competitions in the tour. While there's been a tight competition for the yellow jersey, still just uh, nine or 10 seconds separating first and second place for the win to take the yellow jersey to Paris. The green jersey, the sprinter's jersey competition has been, almost was decided from the first day. No, second day. And uh, the others, well the white jersey has now been decided for several tours in a row. That's the uh, Best Young Rider, and that's been Teddy Bigacha for a long time. I think it's something where it like 60 consecutive stages in the white jersey, and that's significant because there's only 21 stages per tour. So he's held that white jersey for a long time. Occasionally, he's wearing the yellow instead. Boy, that arm got long. <laughs> yeah, well. But um, the other jersey competition is the polka dot jersey, the Malia Epua. And uh, today that's been fought out. Yesterday, Nielsen Palace, the American, lost his jersey but because the yellow jersey was who took it over, he's still racing in it today. At this point, he took back the virtual lead, but in front of him was Giulio Ciccone. And unfortunately for Palace, he got dropped on this climb. So he isn't even there to um, contest. So, Ciccone has just taken the ma maximum points on this stage, on this climb. There's still two more climbs in the day, and the second of those has bonus points, apparently. I know it's got bonus seconds. I didn't know they were doing bonus KOM points, too. But I'm going to trust, trust NBC's announcers. Bob Rowland, Phil Liggett. So this is Woot Van Aert, and what was expected to happen since Palace wasn't there was his teammate that was still in the group. They sent one guy back to help Palace. Actually sent Magnus Court back, who held the polka dot jersey, got it when they were racing in Denmark, and he is a Dane. They sent him back to help Palace get over these mountains, but his teammate and the official, actually no, not the official leader of the team. Who is the leader of the team? talking to the oh, Carapaz, and Carapaz crashed out early, early on, I think the first stage, right? That second stage, or didn't start the second stage, so he cr crashed in the first stage, finished, but wasn't able to start the next day. The last two stages have been marked by crashes and today's was caused by a fan who was trying to film the race, Cut, caught the person going by leading and spun around with her arms still out, stretched. And as she did so, one of the members of the tour hit her. That caused a wreck which sent him 
flying into the front to his teammates. There was a bunch of jumbo guys going down, but also right at the front, so it really caused a crash. Kind of changed the texture of today's stage because unlike yesterday, and because mainly because they were so deep into the stage, they did not neutralize anything, which is the normal pattern. So now this breakaway group that was off the front and wasn't affected, at one point had over eight minutes ahead of the chasers of the Peloton, but now that's narrowed to uh, six and a half. But just for reference, the um, highest placed guy in this group The Frenchman uh, Thibaut Pino is considerably further back <laughs> than six minutes. I recall he's 26 minutes back. So the Peloton doesn't really have to chase this at all. But you do always have to consider well, do I really want to let that person back into the tour? Here, we'll call this a virtual tie. Because that's where Chaconi is. He's now in a virtual tie. And I think the tiebreaker would go to him since he has gone over the top of two climbs first. So that's the ink part of it. And I'm trying to do this scale to sort of get the fact that he's forward. So you know, obviously he's gonna be larger and then the riders diminish as they go back. The first step of perspective and then some of that also gets augmented with color perspective. Meaning darker, well, less defined color, hazier, Sometimes it's best to go ahead and give it a little blue tone color as the colors diminish into the background. I really do like the Adele Trex kit. I don't share a lot of people's dense disdain for it. So that should be all the yellow I need. We'll see. It's not like I can't come back and put more in. Just have to make sure the brush is clean. Actually, I, there should be a lot of yellow right there. <laughs> God, I had a Jumbo Misma guy here. So the Jumbo Visma rider is Woot Van Aert. He's been in the breakaway pretty much every stage. There to ride, be the ace in the hole for the team. Doesn't feel like, I mean, everyone else is saying he has, but to me, it doesn't feel like he's really produced that much. One or two stages, he was very helpful. Maybe it's just because I'm not as big of a fan as a lot of other people are. Which could either mean I'm looking at it objectively or. <laughs> Or I'm 
I'm not going to give him the credit where credit's due. So since this brush is still pretty clean, let me go back and get that little bit of flesh tone. No, excuse me, it wasn't flesh tone I wanted, a little bit of yellow. Why'd y'all let me do that? And so again, working with this warm to cool, light to dark aspect. Sorry, I didn't finish that thought. So we'll move on to the red and then yeah, you know, we'll just continue to move through the palette. As you've countlessly seen me do countless times thus far. Well, I say countless, I don't know how many times you've watched one of these videos. I do post one first stage of the tour, usually, well, always within 24 hours and more often than not, within 12 hours of the end of the stage. and hit this little bit of orange in the logo of the grocery store that sponsors the polka dot jersey. Cool colors. Actually, not quite yet. Just a dab of red right there. Don't know how quite how he gets away with it. Why it's allowed, but Woot. I mean it's perfectly fine that he's sponsored by Red Bull. Not that I'm a Red Bull fan, but nevertheless. Um, but for some reason, he is allowed to wear a Red Bull helmet or a helmet with the Red Bull, Bull, Red Bull logo on it, which is a different helmet than the rest of his teammates. I would think would be against race rules. Goes with minimal exception. Riders are supposed to all wear the same kit. Now certainly the yellow jersey wearing a hel yellow helmet when the rest of the team doesn't would be a logical exception there. There's some pretty strict rules about team colors and changing team uniforms and such. Just started pouring here and 
Richmond, Virginia, but fortunately not in the race. Nice blue skies there. Don't want a repeat of yesterday. So I think before I do the blacks, I will get some of this pine trees at the top of the climb. This really has been beautiful vistas today as they race along the border between France and Switzerland. But I don't think they dip into Switzerland at all. Not today and probably not at all this tour. As I recall. I keep a little notebook that has facts about each stage mainly so when I write my blog posts I have that kind of information about the names of the climbs and sprint towns and finishing towns and distance raced all of that kind of stuff because I do write about these things and post them on the blog the art of cycling.blogpost.com and there you will find all the paintings that I have done to date. And while you're there, you can follow direct links to the website, craigleach.com, where you can purchase the paintings, or at least the paintings that have yet to sell. It's interesting, in last year's tour, well, interesting to me anyway, that Rigoberto Oran, easy for me to say, was the team leader for EF Education, and this year, They must have known something because he is not the leader and not exactly tearing the tour up this year. But he's out here in the break, although not succeeding in stealing points in favor of his teammate. He actually didn't even look like he tried. But as we saw when he attacked on the previous climb, Chigoni's got a real kick. Or maybe he just watched him go, which I'm not going to catch that. <laughs> There's a big thing about the tour is it's a 21 stage race over 23 days. And you need to come out the next day and be able to compete again. So sometimes you just have to save your power, save your energy. But this is the finishing touches. So again, I'll remind you that you can see all the work over on my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com, and you'll find links to be able to purchase the work there. Of course, I encourage you to subscribe if you already, if you're not already a subscriber. There is. Uh, Six more stages after this one, and then we roll right into the uh, Tour de France Femmes, which I'll be painting and posting as well. So thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've got any questions or anything, please leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think, and I'll see you tomorrow.